What's up, everybody? and Welcome to another box breakdown. We've got a little bit of an exciting one for us today. Uh, we've got three of the brand new Tops 2024 Series 1 Monster Boxes. Um, we found these at Target this week and uh, picked up three of them and thought we would open them up on the channel, let you guys know what you can look to find uh, in these boxes. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer rip, so bear with us, but I want to give you a really good sample size of what's inside of those. So uh, let's talk about 2024 Series 1. So um, I kind of broke it down into like Tier 1 and Tier 2 rookies that we're looking for. Uh, tier 1 is going to be obviously Ellie De La Cruz, Evan Carter, Jason Dominguez, um, and then Tier 2, I put Andy Rodriguez, uh, Marco Luciano, Henry Davis, Ronnie Mauricio, and Colton Kowser in there. So those are kind of the ones that we're looking out for. Um, in 2024 uh, Series 1, there are a ton of parallels. We can find first cards, uh, gold foils, rainbow foils, royal blues, true colors true photos which those i think are really cool they remove the entire background it's just the picture with the tops logo it looks really good um then we've got golds this year obviously it's 2024 so they're numbered out of 2024 we've got blue foils purples greens orange red foils um, those are all numbered from 9.99 down to 1.99 and then we got vintage stock that are numbered to 99 uh, the Independence Day comes back. Those are numbered out of 76 uh, for 1776. Then we got Father's Day Blues out of 50, Mother's Day Pinks out of 50, Memorial Days out of 25, and then the Platinum 101s, Printing Plates uh, 101s. Um, and then the Mega Box has its own foils. So we're going to be looking for in these Golds number to 50, Oranges number to 25, Reds number to 5 and blacks number to one so we've got our own kind of little separate checklist of full boards inside of the mega boxes another cool thing that i've seen uh floating around which tops did not put on the website are these kevin hart parallels there's like little mini kevin hearts on the card themselves it looks like it's all philadelphia phillies uh, since he is from philadelphia and they're all numbered to 52 because Kevin Hart is five foot and two inches. So I think it's kind of funny. So I, I like that kind of new kind of creativity uh, to, you know, fun thing kind of bringing to the hobby. I think that's really cool. Uh, as far as inserts, we also have a ton of those. We've going to be featured uh, the 1989 set, which is a personal favorite of mine. That's when I first started collecting cards and I, I know that that design really well. Um, then we've got the Tops All Team, Greatest Hits, uh, Grand Gamers, uh, Heavy Lumber. Tops is saying those are 500 copies of each card, so those are going to be hard to find. Uh, we have the Home Field Advantage come back. Um, those are back this year. Um, then we have the Legendary Home Field Advantages as well. Um, we have Sketch Cards, which we don't really know much about. Um, then we have the uh, Follow Back Cards, which are really cool. Um, get the card of your favorite player and they'll follow you back on social media. Uh, and then we'll see plenty of the stars of MLB in these boxes. I'm sure we'll see plenty of the blueprints and we will see mega stars and the mega boxes, monster boxes. So that's a little bit of the rundown. It's a lot. There's a ton. But if you can look at the box, it doesn't really tell you anything. It tells you a little bit, but that these are available. It doesn't really tell you kind of odds. Tops has gotten away from the odds and um, you kind of just kind of figure it out. So. Um, I went on Top's website uh, today um, to see if I could find a little bit more info on this and the Monster Box page has been taken down. So these might be a little bit harder to find than your hangers and your um, value boxes, uh, your fat packs, things like that. Maybe even hobby boxes. So um, these might be um, a little bit shorter run than what we're used to so we'll see we'll open this up we'll see what we get and uh yeah let's dig into our first pack in 2024 series one monster boxes hope you guys are having a great day it's a beautiful friday today uh ready for the weekend so all right here's our look i think the design um, there's been a lot of controversy with the design. A lot of people don't like this kind of new design. Um, I, I don't mind it. Um, I actually think it looks pretty good. Um, it's pretty clean. Um, so I enjoy that. So let's get into these a little bit. We'll 
kind of see we'll make a stack of base which i'm sure is going to fill up pretty quick and we'll have to keep going but there's a stack of base and here's our first rookie alika williams so we'll put our rookies right there we've got sean murphy gabriel moreno with the uh we see the future stars right up here up top chris bryant hi song kim jonah heim we've got a matt waldron our second rookie and then here's that 1989 design we're talking about an iconic design as far as tops goes i love this design it's awesome so there's uh the jeff bagwell we'll put those inserts over there we got an adley this is the regular stars of the mlb there will be chrome versions too and it'll say tops chrome up here in the corner um, and it'll be a little bit thicker of a cardstock but this is just the regular base uh, we've got a riley green on the future stars Stephen Kwan and Jaiwan Bay. All right. So two rookies out of the first pack, two inserts, and base throughout. We're gonna have plenty of base, but we're talking a 350 card base. In these these boxes, we're gonna get 16 packs of 14 cards. So we're gonna get a ton of cards between three boxes, a absolute ton of cards. So. If you want to put a set together, this may be the easiest way to do it. Um, so, all right, our next is Nick Gonzalez. And then we've got Jordan Westberg as our next rookie. Eduardo Rodriguez, Willie Adames, Joey Manessis. And then, we, I didn't talk about this, but the uh, the home run challenge is back. So that's a nice one. Julio Rodriguez, that would be nice. And then this is another one of our base stars of the MLB, Pete Alonzo. And there's our first Jason Dominguez, kind of the, one of our first tier one rookie. We will sleeve him up, put him on the back back there. So you guys, uh, we can keep a running track of some of our top tier guys that we hit so far. So, and then we got a Spencer Torkelson and a Jake Berger to round out that pack. Like I said, this is gonna be a little bit longer of a video. Um, I'll do a recap at the end um just to show some of the hits too so all right so jose soriano is our next rookie there we go kyle schwarber bo naylor and we got jacob amaya is our next rookie and we've got uh Yenier Cedeno. he's got a rookie cup so um, i always like to keep the rookie cups just a little separate they're not rookie cars but it does show some of the best rookies from last year in each position so um, i like i like the rookie cups so uh, Dane Myers, uh, Mountcastle, Contreras, and we have a backwards here, Mookie Betts. Um, nice. So that's going to be one of our foil boards. Um, this is just, I believe, a non-numbered foil. Yeah. So this is non-numbered foil, Mookie Betts, of 1979 uh, or 1989 design. So I really like that. It's a really good looking card. So we'll keep that over here. Corbin Carroll on the base, Freddie Freeman, Josh Lau, and David Hamilton are the last rookie there. So, all right, keep moving along. All right, Masataka Yoshida, another rookie cup guy. Uh, Matt Walner, Willie Castro, and Sedane Rafaela. We've got a Prelander Baroa. Jansen, and then our second home run challenge here is a Paul Goldschmidt, and then this is um, the uh, greatest hits, which is um, some of the, the best uh, highlights from the season. This is uh, Sal Freelich. Got another Julio Rodriguez there, stars in the MLB, and then we got a Mike Trout, Framber Valdez, and Tyler O'Neill to round that out. So one foil board so far. One rookie insert, a um, couple of the home run challenge cards. You guys like the home run challenge cards? Do you like doing them? Um, it was interesting last year how they put the parameters in for the time frame. I, I actually ended up not doing as many because I kept on forgetting about them. Um, but um, I, I want to make sure that I try to get those in this year. There's a Mike Trout. And then a South Freelick stars of the MLB. Uh, Carmen Ludzinski, Christian Walker, and Jazz Chisholm. So, 
Nothing too crazy so far. Nice to have that Jason Dominguez uh, base. We'd love to see a color. So Cade Marlowe is our next rookie. Orlando Arcia. I'm going to start going a little bit faster. This is Marco Luciano. He's kind of one of our tier two guys that we're looking for. He came out so hot. He was in that, that Bowman class with Wander and Julio, and he was really kind of above Julio there for a while as far as kind of the Bowman prices. Um, and he, he kind of fell off. And the uh, market has definitely cooled on Marco Luciano. Um, but he should get plenty of plenty of playing time this year with the Giants. Um, we'll see what he can do. We'll see what he can do. You never know. These guys just need a shot sometimes. So, All right, Isaiah Campbell, a rookie. I'll start moving a little bit faster since we've seen some of this base and how it's going. All right, so we've got a Connor Wong backwards card here. So this is a blue. This is one of our blue foil boards. And this is numbered out of 999. This is not a Mega Box, box exclusive. This is a blue foil. You can find this in other products too. But that's the blue foil there. Okay. We'll keep our colored over there, colored vets at least. And wow, what a pull! Look at that! What a pull! I was putting that other card down and I wasn't even looking. We saw Ellie De La Cruz, beautiful! What a nice pull! And this is non numbered, this is the full board of the 1989 design, um, but. Definitely going to be a little bit shorter printed than a base would be. Um, really nice card there. That's a great hit out of a monster box. So, let's see if we can get a good view of that good looking card. That's going to be the top guy this year, I think. Ellie De La Cruz. He had a had a really good start to the season last year. Um, you know, cooled off a little bit, uh, but I think he is. Uh, He's got such a great swing. He's so tall. He's so powerful. He's got such an, a huge exit velocity off the bat when he hits the ball. It's just, it's really something. Uh, there's a Jose Rodriguez there and an Andrew Abbott. Now you'll see an Abbott, he actually gets a rookie card shield because he did not have a rookie card and he gets a rookie cup because he did. He was one of the top guys. So we'll put him with our rookie cup guys. And then we follow that up with a base, Ellie De La Cruz. So there's the base, and then the 1979 design. So you can see the difference there in the artwork. I really, really, the the uniforms here with the black background, it just, it. I saw pictures of this card and I was like, man, that is a great, it's gonna be an iconic rookie card for a young kid uh, that's, you know, coming up in the MLB. I'm, I really, really like that card, so. All right. So we'll keep going. We got a backwards here of Clark Schmidt. So this is just our rainbow foil here. So a rainbow foil there of Clark Schmidt. I'll put that over there. And then this is our uh, blueprint. Blueprint there of Clayton Kershaw. Put that there. And then we got a Mike Trout, stars of the MLB base, Bautista, and Manuel Margot. All right. Halfway through this box, man, I, I will go faster, guys. I know this is going to be a long one, but. I will try to go a little bit faster um, through some of this base, but I don't want to miss anything. Um, I historically have missed short prints and photo variations every time I open up top series one and every other year. Um, so try not to do that. If you see something and I miss it, call it out in the comments. Let me know. Because uh, sometimes I just miss those kinds of things. So we've got a Christian Walker out of 99. That's not a bad card either. What a great box this is. So Kodai Singa, that's gonna be our rookie cup. And then, wow, that's a really good looking card. Christian Walker out of 99. Now I, I am not 100% sure. Is this the vintage stock? I believe this is the vintage stock. Yeah, this is vintage stock out of 99. Christian Walker, great pull. I think Christian Walker's a great player. Um, on that that young, exciting Diamondbacks team, 
first baseman, I think the kid can play. So, man, what do you guys think about these uh, super boxes? Not, not bad. Uh, let's see, I'll put, put that there. I'll put that right there. So far, I can't really complain. And then we've got another one of our 79 full boards, or 89 full boards, from Mark McGuire. Again, these are not numbered, um, but I really like the way these look. These are really cool. Okay, and then Shohei Otani base, stars of the MLB. We got an Encarnacion Strand. He's he was kind of on that fence for me as far as a, a, a tier two guy. Um, we'll never we'll see. You know, we can all guess and project these guys, but you never know. You just never know which ones are going to come out and, and perform. And which ones are not? It's always kind of a crapshoot. Jose Fermin. Let's see. Keep going. This so is Henry Davis. So that's one of our tier two guys that we're looking for. So we'll put him over here with Mr. Luciano. All right. Let's keep rolling. Gregory Santos. Pitcher relief of Felix Felix. Uh, Felix Bautista, sorry. I don't know that. I've, oh, that's the all-tops team. So that's the all-tops team insert there. Cool looking card. I like those. Those look good. Uh, behind that, we got a Bobby Witt base. And that will do that. That there and there. The one thing that I am a little concerned with, and I think everybody's usually concerned with, with cards that do have black borders, is the ability to grade. Um, it, it can be tough. Especially these black borders, they can get dinged and they show them really easy. So, there's a Spencer Horwitz. That's a cool picture of Chaz McCormick. That's a really good picture. Um, my favorite one that I've seen so far in some of the previews is the variation of Julio Rodriguez and him holding the trident in the dugout. That's a really cool picture. And Gavin Williams, 1979. Uh, rookie card. And then an Incarnation Strong Strand. Um, stars of the MLB rookie, Nico Horner and Garrett Cole. We're still have this. We still have four packs after this pack, guys. So these boxes, there's a lot. There's a lot in here. There's a lot of cards. There's a, a lot of possibility. So so far, this might be the one to get if you can find them. And again, like we said, these might be kind of hard to find. 2023 National League leaders in the ERA. That is a rainbow foil. Blake Snell, Kudai Singa, and Justin Steele. Look at that Blake Snell, 225 ERA. That's wild. What an amazing season he had. And we got a Riley Green in his second year there. The stars of the MLB. And there we go. Kind of long. All right, four packs left. Let's keep going. All right. Jose Ramirez. Nice O'Neill Cruz. Another great up and coming player. Ron Acuna. Love Ronnie. My favorite player. I always set Ronnie to the side. So we got a Sal Freelick here. Very nice. So Sal Freelick, another guy that was kind of teetering on the um, edge of being one of those kind of tier two guys. Um, but a guy that has a lot of potential and I think could get a lot of playing time in Milwaukee. Um, but there we go. Very nice. 1979 full board. I'm going to put that there with Mr. De La Cruz. And then let's see. We got a Corey Seeger base. Ventos. This is the uh, National League leaders in runs batted in. Matt Olson, Pete Alonso, Ozzy Albies. As a Braves fan, it's nice to see two Braves on that card. We are very excited for this upcoming season in Atlanta. I can tell you that. Uh, I'm just excited for the season altogether. I love, I love football, and then football's over, and we go straight into baseball, and it is the best time of the year. So, all right, Ronnie Mauricio, that's another one of our tier two guys. So we'll put him over there with the other two tier guys. It looks like we did get a chrome with the stars of the MLB there. So then we've got a Dominic Canzoni. There's a Corbin on the uh, rookie cup. Chris Taylor, 
Christian Javier, Nolan Arenado, and then our Topps Chrome is a Marco Luciano. This is the Chrome Stars of the MLB. Um, you'll notice it just has, has the Chrome logo up there. A little bit thicker stock, um, nice little foil to it. Good looking card there. So we'll put that with, let's put him with Mr. Dominguez there. And then we've got a, this is our first look at the Grand Gamers. Um, Buster Posey there, great, great uh, catcher for the Giants for a while. Great guy, so always a big fan of Buster Posey. Uh, Jazz Chisholm, Austin Hayes, we've got a Johan Duran and a Dane Dunning to finish that pack out. Two more packs, guys, in our first box. Two more packs in our first box. It's a lot. It's a lot of cards. It's a lot of stuff to look at here. So there's a Gavin Williams, rookie. And then a Victor Medeiros. Then a Gray Kessinger. Merrill Kelly, there's a Wade Boggs on the 89 design. There's a Pete Crow Armstrong. Another guy that I think is gonna have a, has a, a good future ahead of him um, there in New York. Um, that is the base. That is the base um, stars of the MLB. Then we've got the, the uh, Reds card there. We've got a nice Spencer Strider and then Nick Fortes. All right, last pack. Last pack of this first box. Let's see what we can find. All right, George Kirby, Emerson. Hey, what well, you could almost think that was the same exact card, right? I almost thought it was the same card. That's wild. But this is an Emerson Hancock rookie card. So we'll put that there. Jordan Lars, my favorite name in the major leagues. Bobby Witt, Randy Rosarina, Luis Arias. Is he going to get that third batting title? Man, that guy is just what an incredible hitter. It looks like we do have a blue back here. So we've got a celebration of the kid. Obviously, I am a huge fan of these cards. Love uh, King Griffey Jr. Um, there's a there's a whole set. I'm definitely gonna try to put this whole set together because I just I, I love this design. It's King Griffey. It's it's iconic. I just I absolutely love that. So I'll definitely be trying to put that together. And then we got a Elias Diaz as our blue. I'm gonna kid put the the kids over there. So that is a blue, true blue. Uh, I'm out of top series one. We'll put that over here. And then we've got Mookie. Uh, we've got an Abner Aribe to finish out that box. All right, so let's look. This is our first box. So let's talk. This is um, $50. I believe these were 50. Let me double check that price. Um, they were, yeah, $50. Um, at Target, I did use, as you know, you can use your Target awards, whatnot. They came out, all three of them were $153. So you're getting three of these boxes for less than probably a jumbo box. Um, you're definitely getting more cards. Um, so if you're putting a set together, definitely go with this route. This is definitely a better way to do that than, than buying hobby or jumbo. Um, we got plenty of foils and colors. Uh, these are just some of those. Um, I really like these. We got three, I believe, of these. Um, and a big one for us too. So. As far as our top rookies, we did get Ellie. This is uh, number one. We did not get an Evan Carter, but we did get a Jason Dominguez, which is right back here. So we did get a Jason Dominguez. Uh, we did get uh, Marco Luciano. Uh, no Indy Rodri uh, Rodriguez. Um, we did get a Ronnie Mauricio and uh, no Colton Cowser. So out of those, uh, what is that, eight? The top eights that I have, that I kind of targeted, we got one, two. Oh, we got a Henry Davis too. I almost missed that. So one, two, three, four, five. We got five of those eight that I was looking for in this one box. Not too bad. And then kind of our hits of this box were uh, the Sal Freelich, uh, the 1989 design foil, and then obviously the big hit of this box was Ellie De La Cruz and the 1989 full award so really nice i i um i don't have any complaints about these monster boxes so far big stack of base uh we knew that was you know we're gonna have plenty of base it's, it's retail we're gonna have plenty of base so 
I just want to make sure I didn't miss any other numbered cards. These None of these are numbered, so I just want to make sure I didn't miss any other numbered cards. And then we did have the Christian Walker on the vintage stock. Uh, really nice. This is definitely thicker um, than the normal base cards. And the, uh, the back, obviously, is a little bit darker. Um, but really, uh, really good looking card. If I find his base in the next box, then we'll compare those. So... All right, and then here's our rookies, a, a ton of rookies. And I will say not many dupes, uh, if any. Uh, we got pretty much a different rookie in every single one. So that's that's really nice to see. You know, you hate seeing a whole bunch of dupes. I don't mind it in the base, um, but um, when we, uh, Kenley Jansen doesn't, he doesn't belong in there. Um, I don't mind having dupes in base. Um, I'm not a huge set guy, but, um, you know, if, if I'm looking for rookies, I'm going to try to not. If I can get as m little amount of dupes as possible, I think uh, that's the whole goal there. So, all right, one box down. I think we're going to go two boxes today, guys, because this is a these, these take a while to get through. And um, I don't want it to be an hour-long video today. So, I want you guys to be able to watch this on a Friday night hang out after you got the kids to bed or after you're done with work or you know you're settling down getting ready for bed it's just a nice little chill out video let's rip some packs see what these monster boxes are all about so we'll do two boxes here if uh if you guys want to see that third one just drop me a comment um, we'll put the we'll put another video together and we'll rip that one so but we're already 26 minutes into this one, so I don't want to, don't want to be too long. So let's let's fly through this a little bit faster if we can. I, like I said, I don't want to miss anything, but um, try to go a little faster here so we can see kind of what we expect to see. Well, there's a Ellie base of the 1989 design. Um, I'm probably going to um, keep all of these here so we can kind of see the differences between the two boxes. Uh, then a Freddie Freeman, we got a David Hamilton. Keep our inserts separate there. David Hamilton rookie card, Mike Trout, and Framber Valdez. These are, um, these packs are definitely better made than Panini packs, I will say that. They seem thicker, and they kind of hold the cards a little bit better. So, Nick Gonzalez. There's another Ronnie. All right, we got a backwards Trent Grisham. That's a foil board, Trent Grisham. Cool. I, I, I dig these. I know a lot of people have gotten kind of, there's a, it's polarizing the, uh, these kind of new designs that we're seeing on um, jerseys, but um, I, I dig it, man. So here's the difference. This is the vintage stock here, and then this is the regular base see on the back obviously huge that's where it's the easiest way to see the difference is the back well the, the actual number 12 out of 99 i need to know what his jersey is it's not 12 all right not jersey numbered that's all right so there's the difference between the vintage stock and the regular base all right let's keep rolling johnny deluca And then Dominic Canzone. Okay, we got backwards. Who's in Canseco? This is uh, our 1989 full board there. And then Jordan Waller. Uh, another guy that um, I kind of was on the fence about putting in the kind of that top eight that I'm looking for. Um, kid has definitely shown some potential. So Daniel Valencia. Bought a good young talent uh, in Arizona. Just a ton of good young talent. Reminds me of the Braves a couple of years ago. All that young talent that was coming through there. So Nolan Schoenel, um I'm going to sleeve him up too because I think he's definitely a, a guy that's going to be in that kind of top tier list. Um, I didn't put him there, but I can definitely see him being there. A lot of potential with him um, and the Angels. All right, Luis Arias again, Leota Tavares, and there's a Topps Chrome of Bobby Witt. 
So again, these are a little bit thicker, a little bit nicer there. And then we've got an Ellie here of the Blueprints. So that's a nice card. We have pulled a good amount of Ellie De La Cruz out of these boxes. I have to say, the other ones. Bryce Harper. I like those blueprints. They're just a little different. Uh, I would love to get uh, one of the um, the true photos. I just I'd love to see one. I just think they're really cool. Um, I got a feeling they're going to be pretty short printed though. Going to be pretty hard to pull. Curtis Mead out of the 1989 design there. Shohei, still in his Angels uniform. Brent Rooker, students of the game. That's a cool picture. I like that one. I'll put that with my my Ronnie pack there. Um, no home run challenges yet this this so far. We had two. I didn't talk about that. We had two in the first box, but none yet. There's just Spencer Horwitz. Fernando Tatis, there's another Luciano. Put him right there. One of those guys that I think is going to have a good year. Shailen Galeers, there's another Griffey. Definitely putting this, that set together. I, I cannot wait. If you have any car, any of those laying around, you don't want them, let me know. I will get take them off your hands. Although I'm sure I'm not the only person that's going to put that set together. That is, a, that is a cool one. Anybody that's my age grew up watching the kid play. It's, uh, we're all still huge fans of King Griffey Jr. Uh, Rowdy Telez, Luis Matos. And then we got a Freddie Freeman. Another 1979 foil board there. I'll just put him over to the side there. And then a Christian Encarnacion Strand. And another Jason Dominguez base. So we'll sleeve him up. Definitely one of the top rookies here. You New York guys, what do you think about Jason? Is he going to be a, another good, consistent, like a Giancarlo Stanton kind of guy for you? You know, there was a lot of hype around him when he first came out. And um, then everybody cooled on him last year. So. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, we got a backwards Henry Davis. I don't see it numbered. So this is a foil of Henry Davis. We'll definitely take that. That's a great card. I think Henry Davis is probably, for me, number four, number five rookie this year. Maybe not the top three. He's definitely a tier two guy, but you never know. Like I said, these guys can just pop off. Um, there's a Shohei of, of the uh, Blueprints, and then uh, Riley Green, Jake Berger, there's a Encarnacion Strand Base, and then a Dean Kramer. I feel like most of those hits that we got came toward the middle of the box, so we're getting close to the middle here. So maybe we'll start seeing a little bit more color here. So Coco Montez. Christian Bettencourt, there's a Brendan White, Vladdy Baby, Clayton Kershaw on the 89, Corey Seager, Wilmer Flores, all right, a little bit of a gimme pack there, a little bit of a gimme pack there, so let's see what else we got, Alec Thomas, Jacob DeGrom, there's a Samad Taylor. It's the first Samad Taylor that we've seen so far. There's a Shohei Chrome of Stars of the MLB. So those are one, I believe, one in every 10 packs. Um, so you should be able to pull one at least on these uh, monster boxes. All right, and then let's keep going. And there's a Jose for a man there. Alec Marsh. Definitely hitting a little bit more of a stride on our rookie cards. Um, then we've got a backward Colton Kowser. I don't see a number on it, but there's a nice Mega Stars Colton Kowser. Um, a guy that I definitely think is a tier two guy for us. 
Um, I'm definitely looking for his rookie cards this year. So this is the Mega Stars. These, this is a Mega or Monster Box exclusive, I believe. These only come in these boxes, so these could be kind of a hard, a hard pull if these boxes end up being a little bit more short printed. Uh, we do have a Sunny Gray of uh, the '89 full board there. Got a Pete Crow Armstrong. Like I said, another kid I think could have a, a really nice career. And then base there. All right. Four packs after this one to go. Let's see. There's Matt Waldron. Charlie Morton. Willie Adamez. And we do get a blue. Ryan Nelson. So we'll put that over there with our color. Bob Feller, Grand Gamers, Mookie, Connor Wong, Vientos, and then this is RBI Leaders, NL RBI Leaders. All right, four packs left. We're going to hit these up, and then we'll kind of do a little bit of a recap just to kind of see what we can expect out of these boxes. So you have to think two of these is about the same as a hobby box. So... Do we think it's worth getting two of these or one hobby box? Let's, well, let's, let's finish out here and we'll kind of talk about it. All right, three more packs. Not much there, there's a Trey Cabbage. Great last name. All right, Bo Naylor, Johnny DeLuca. And then a Tyler Solderston. Kodai single in the gold cup. National League leaders in batting average. There's a home run challenge for Freddie Freeman. Julio stars of the MLB. And rounded out with a Spencer Strider. All right, two packs left. All right, Alec Bohm. Gavin Williams rookie card. Masataka Yoshida on the gold cup. We've got a Pete Alonzo. This is our last 89 full board. Then a Sal Freelick there. Stars the MLB. This is a base, Sal Freelick. Another guy that I think is kind of on the cusp of that cutoff for a tier one, tier two rookie for this year. And then Abner Uribe. All right, last pack. Last pack. We, we'll let that third box kind of sit and see. Maybe we'll, if you guys want to see it, let me know. I'll open it up. Um, but for the for the sake of time, we will go with two for today. So here's Henry Davis, another base Henry Davis. Like I said, not a lot of dupes here, especially on the rookies, which is nice. There's a Miguel Miggy. Uh, this is uh, Greatest Hits. Smashes 510th home run, number 26 all time. Pretty cool. Uh, Lou Bob, Griffin Canning, Freddie, and a Josh Lau. All right, so there's two boxes worth. Um, let's look at it a little bit more. I'm gonna move this base stack uh, out of the way just because you know it's base so we're not too worried about that some of our inserts here some of the color that we got so a bunch of inserts um, the chromes the um, uh, the blueprints plenty of stars of MLB uh, a lot of 79s there's grand gamers there uh, you're gonna get three of those 1989 foil boards um, looks like a blue per box a couple maybe one rainbow foil per box uh, maybe two uh, we did get this Connor Wong I need to just leave that up it is numbered the first box definitely outperformed the second we'll say that just by hits because we did get two numbered cards in the first box and I don't think we got one in the second one so so but um, so that's kind of a look at some of the inserts and the color. So, not bad. 
We got two. We got one uh, of the uh, Celebration of the Kids. I think I'm going to have to buy some cheap packs to see if I can find a finish that um, set out. There's our gold cups. We got a good stack of rookies. These are these are the rookies that I didn't necessarily put in that top one or top two uh, tier of rookies. Uh, so that's what those are there. We got some rookie inserts. Um, some of the stars of the MLB mainly. We got a couple. We got one 1979 there, and then a South Freelick on the greatest hits. Three hits in his debut. And that he hit, he did that, and those he was on fire. Everybody won a South Freelick. Uh, we got three home run challenge cards: uh, Julio, Goldschmidt, and then Freddie Freeman. And then, kind of our hits are back here in the back. Our first box. Some of our big hits, Pete Crow, Armstrong, Marco Luciano. This is a Topps Chrome version of the Stars of the MLB. Uh, Ronnie Mauricio base, Henry Davis base, Marco Luciano base, Jason Dominguez base, Ellie De La Cruz base. Um, our second box, we'll take this out of there. Uh, we had a Henry Davis base, we had a Sal Freelich, Chase another Jason Dominguez, and Marco, another Marco Luciano. We got a Nolan Shawnel. Uh, this is a base. And a Jordan Lawler, stars of the MLB. Both of those are base. And then an Ellie 1989 base. We did get in our first box, we got a vintage stock, which I think if you got one of these with the Ellie De La Cruz, that would be a huge hit because that is numbered out of 99. That's a really good looking card. Like I said, it is a little bit thicker, um, a little bit thicker of a card, uh, but really, really nice. These. I would imagine they're going to be pretty tough to grade with that thicker card stock, the black border, and it's kind of gray on the side. I don't know if you can really tell that in the in the video, but it is a little bit more gray. That's probably going to be a pretty tough card to gem when you grade. And then I'll say our, our biggest hits here, the Colton Kowser, um, the, the Mega Stars foil, uh, really nice card there, rookie card. Uh, we got the Henry Davis foil rainbow foil rookie that's going to be a nice card again these are very tough the foils are even tougher to grade so that's a tough one um ellie de la cruz we got um, the blueprints there um, pretty good looking card really nice and centered you can get foils of these by the way um those the, those are available and then uh, we got the south relic here of the 1989 foil board and then we got the ellie de la cruz 1989 foil board rookie card which I think is the hit of the break. So there we go, guys. That's I know it's a long video. Um, there's a lot of stuff to look at there, but you tell me what are your thoughts on this product? I uh, I'm a fan. I think it's pretty well done. There's some really cool inserts. Um, I love some of the creativity that they use with some of the Kevin Hart stuff. Um, I think that uh, tops. I think they kind of knocked it out of the park with this one. I like the design. I like some of the inserts. I think these boxes in particularly um, give you a really good option. If you, A, want to put a set together, B, if you're chasing a lot of color, we got plenty of it. We may not have gotten a lot of numbered color, but we got a ton of foil boards in those two boxes. I think for $50, these are well worth the price for half the price, a little over half the price of a hobby box and much less than a jumbo. Now we did not get a relic and we did not get an auto. So keep that in mind, um, no autos and no relics in, in these two boxes. So, but we got all of our top rookies uh, minus, I think the only one we didn't get was Evan Carter. We hit every other one and Indy Rodriguez. So we did not get Evan Carter or Indy Rodriguez. We did get Ellie. We got Jason Dominguez, Marco Luciano, Henry Davis, Nolan, um, Ronnie Mauricio, and Colton Kowser. So we got all of those guys. Um, we got a couple numbered cards. Uh, for retail, I, I am not disappointed. So you guys let me know what you think. Is this worth it? Is this the product to buy? Um, financially, if you look at it, this has the least amount of money you have to spend to get your return on investment here. So you guys tell me what you think um, between this and the hanger boxes uh, with the yellows um, I don't know I'm kind of torn I'll definitely rip some of the hanger boxes too um, and I'll bring those to the channel 
Um, but these uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of. So, hey guys, I really appreciate it. If you like this, if you like more videos like this, if you want me to keep doing these things so you can kind of see, I'll rip it. You figure out if it's what you want to buy or if you want to buy something different or pass all completely. Let me do the work. All I ask, give me a, a like, hit a subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing, guys. This is uh, it's a lot of fun. I appreciate it. I hope you guys too. So, hey, that's it for this video. Um, if you guys want to see that third box rip, leave me a comment. We'll definitely get on that if you do. So, hey, I hope everybody has a great week weekend, and we'll catch you on the next one.